What is going on guys? Welcome back to the advanced Python tutorial series. In today's video, we're going to talk about the singleton design pattern. So let us get right into it. All right, so you guys really seem to enjoy those design pattern videos. So today we're going to talk about another one. And uh, the singleton design pattern is actually quite simple. The basic idea is that we have a class and this class can only have one single instance. So if we have, for example, a class person, uh, a normal class person, we can do as many person objects as we can fit into the memory. Uh, whereas in a singleton, we can only have one person, uh, one, one person object, if that person would be uh, a singleton. So this is what we're going to model today. We're going to again import from ABC. So from abstract class, we're going to import ABC meta. And we're going to import abstract static method. Because we're going to work with an interface just for the sake of it. Uh, we're going to have an interface person, so I person, and the meta class is going to be um, it's going to be ABC meta. There you go. And we're going to have one method in here, which is going to be an abstract static method, and this is going to be get data of this person. And we're going to implement it in the child. So implement in child class like that. Um, and then we can have a person singleton class. So we're going to say class person singleton. And by the way, I just want to mention here that this is not the only possible implementation. You can do many different things. You can use decorators, you can use uh, your own meta class, you can have um, an interface I person and also a class singleton that you extend uh, or inherit in the in the person class. So there are many ways to go about that. I think there's a stack overflow question um, where one guy asked how to do a singleton design pattern in Python. And the top answer had like four methods. So you can use all of those. Uh, but this is just one of them or one possible way to implement a singleton design pattern in Python. So we're going to extend from the or inherit from the I person interface. And in here, we're going to say, instance with uh, two double underscores, uh, or actually, yeah, with two underscores uh, before the name so that it's private. And we're going to say instance is none by default. So this is this instance thing here, this instance variable is going to be the one the single one instance that we can um, create here. And what we're going to do then is we're going to have a method called static method, or it's going to be a static method, and it's going to be called get instance. So we can get the current instance or actually the only instance that there is. And what we're going to do here is we're going to say if person singleton dot instance, if this instance equals none. Now here we can do different things. Now this is basically the case where you're requesting the instance, uh, but no instance is there. So we haven't created a person object yet. So there's not even a single instance. Now here you can one way is to just say and uh, is to say something like print error because there was no instance found or you can just create one. Now, of course, if you have some parameters, uh, you can you can uh, enter some default values and then later on change them. Uh, but that's up to you. Maybe you don't want to to allow to get an instance here because you say, okay, there is no instance, I'm not going to return anything, or you're going to return none, that's also a possibility. In this case, we're just going to create a person singleton uh, with a default name, we can choose whatever we want for that name, and a default age of zero. And if the instance is not none, so if it's already set, if we already have an instance, we're going to return the instance that we had previously. So we're going to skip the if part here. So this is the basic get instance. And now we also need a constructor or an initializer. And for this, we're going to just say def init, the basic initializer self name h and we're going to say self dot name equals name self dot h equals h and person singleton instance equals self so that this instance here gets uh, the object self assigned. Um, now one thing that we need to add here, though, is that we need to make sure that this constructor cannot be used multiple times, because then we would always override the instance. Um, and for this, we're going to add a simple if statement. So we're going to say, if person singleton dot instance 
instance uh, is not none. So if we already have one, we're just going to do nothing. I mean, here again, we can choose what do we want to do. We can do nothing. So we can just skip uh, the constructor. We can say, okay, there is already an object and do nothing. Or we can even raise an exception and say, okay, uh, we're not just going to tell you that there already is an instance. We're also going to raise an exception and create a problem for you so that you need to catch it. Uh, and we can do this by just saying raise exception. Singleton cannot be instantiated, instantiated more than once like that. And otherwise, we're just going to do. Oh, uh, sorry. We're just going to come on. There you go. Um, otherwise, we're just going to create to assign the values and to assign the self object to the instance. So this is the basic way in which we create an object. And then we're also going to have to implement the extra abstract method, which is get data. And in this case, this is quite simple. We're just going to, since it's a static method, we need to add the annotation here. Uh, we're just going to get the data from the instance. So we can say something like, um, actually, did we call it get data? Let's rename it to print data because get is most of the time a return thing and print is printing obviously. So we're going to call it print data and then we're going to just print a formatted string in which we say name is uh, person singleton instance name like that. And then we're going to do the same thing for the age. So we're going to say age is person singleton dot instance dot h. So that's it. Um, and then what we can do now is we can create uh, or we can try to create more than one object and we're going to see what happens. But first of all, let's do it in a proper way here. So let's just go ahead and say, uh, I don't know, p equals person singleton. And let's add the name Mike and Mike is 30 years old. And then we can go ahead and say p dot print data. And we can also go ahead and print p as an object. Uh, this is going to be important for later on. Now let's see if we have any errors doesn't seem like that. Oh, we have one. Uh, okay, we need to return the person person singleton dot instance. That should be it. Yes. So then we can open up a terminal here terminal split bash and uh, we can navigate to the I hope I'm not blocking by the way with the camera, I, I bet I'm blocking everything again. So let me just resize this here. Uh, let me go through the code again so that you guys don't have to complain in the comment section. So this is the code. There you go. And now actually, let's go ahead and open this in a new tab here. So let's say terminal tab bash. And now we're going to navigate to this directory. And we're going to say Python three main dot py. And you can see we have this person singleton object with the values. And now if I go ahead and try to create a second one. So if I say something like p two equals person singleton, person singleton, uh, I don't know, Bob and Bob is going to be 25. This is going to fail. So we can see that this is going to fail. If we try, you can see that we get the exception singleton cannot be instantiated more than once. However, I can of course go ahead and say something like p2 equals person singleton dot get instance so that we can save it in a second variable in a second reference here. And if I do that, uh, actually, let's add to those two things. So we're going to copy that here. And we're going to change this to p2 and this to p2 as well. And then we're going to see that this is actually the same thing. So you can see we have not only the same values, we have the exact same address, because of course, we have just one instance, uh, we cannot create a second one because that's not possible. And even if we were to ignore it, we would always uh, so even if we don't raise an exception here, um, at this point, we can just ignore it, but not overwrite the instance. Or even if we override it, we would just have a new instance, but it's only going to be one instance uh, at the same time. We're not going to, ha uh, to have multiple instances here. 
So that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.